Hey guys, welcome back to another Coding Flamingo video. So one of my most popular tweets is this one that I make fun about writing tests, which tells me that a lot of you don't write tests. And also a lot of you don't follow me since that's one of my popular tweets. So make sure to follow me on Twitter. I, I post good memes there. So today we're gonna go through and create some tests for a random console application that adds records to a database. So the first thing you would have to do, I already created the test project, but if you don't have one test project created, you would go to add new project. And in here, I use the MS test test projects. There's other test projects that you can use. Uh, this is the one supported by Microsoft. So I just use it. And what this is going to create, it's going to create this test, obviously without the code that I already wrote. And you can create different tests. This one, I just used the default. You should probably break it down into like record manager tests. And then each method that you test, you would create its own test method. So you would copy and paste this for each method in the record manager, but if I only have one record manager, uh, one thing in the record manager. So I'm just doing one test right now. Very simple code is just to show how it works. Next thing you would have to do is add the project reference. So you can actually reference it so that it's right clicking here, add project reference and click the project that you want to test. And then you, you will have to add mock. So I added the mock uh, nougat package and that one will help you mock interfaces. So let's go through the code and see what it does. So first of all, we're gonna go through the code that we will be testing. So basically this is just like a manager that will check if it's tall, if it's not, it'll throw an exception. Then it's gonna check if the record exists and if the record doesn't exist, it'll create the record. And the database, I actually didn't write the code for it. If you want to see how to write to a database, make sure to check out my videos on that and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of the videos. In here, basically, I'm just returning, but like I just have the interface created. And then in the testing, I go and the first thing I create is a mock of the database interface. And so as you can see here, I have the interface and then I go here and I have the mock for it. Once you set the mock, you can create kind of like fake methods that are going to, instead of going and calling the database, which doesn't make sense every time you're running unit tests, you might not really want to be calling the database or you might be running this on your CI CD pipeline that you don't have access to the database. So it's a good way to like create a fake database. You can have it have throw an exception and see if your code can deal with the exceptions nicely. And then here you create kind of like, so you create the, the fake interface and then you do a dot setup and then you do a Lambda and then you call whatever the function is called. In this case, it's called get a record async and it takes one parameter, which is a string. And I have it that if it equals Rob, return empty, saying that Rob doesn't exist in the database. And then if it's Peter, return Peter, meaning that Peter exists in the database. And then for the add record, basically, uh, if it's not empty, return true, that it worked. If it's empty, return should be false, that it failed. And this one, you can like change it to like match whatever parameters it is. I, I just wanted to show different ways. And, and as you can see here, I just pass Rob and Peter, and then I test for fail, I test for pass. And then the top one, I check that like, if I pass empty, I'll get an argument null exception. And then I check that like it matches the ex exception message that I expect. So then if I run this right now, it's gonna fail because if I go to the record manager, I don't have the, it's not null. So if I run this and to run this, you can just do here, run test the first time. I have my test explorer down here and you can either just run it or debug it. So like if I run it right now, it'll say it failed and it'll say assert is fault failed, which is this one, but it, I might not know why. So then I can just do like a debug last run and it'll go and like, I'll be able to break through and like, I'll realize like, oh, I'm missing here this, it should be a not. And then it'll, it won't let you. So then you stop it and, and you start it again. And now it works. And this is how you should test your code. As you see, it takes a few minutes to set up. So don't be lazy and start unit testing your code. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.